good morning. Good morning. A little, uh, little adventure for you today. We have a surprise guest. We have a surprise guest, but here's the thing, right? So they forgot something. Near the camera was on, that's why I started sprinting. Look who we have. Hi. When was your last in person vlog appearance? Uh, I when was Santa? It actually probably was. Probably is Santa. Anyway, sorry, we probably should have had this discussion before we pulled the camera out. There's a bit to catch up on. We'll get a, we'll get a coffee after this and maybe have a bit of a chat, but. We've, uh, we've brought the young man out to so Sydney's finest. <laughs> Sydney's finest bike path. Within seconds of riding it, he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we got these in camera too, Chris. Yeah. But to be fair, Jesse gave the greatest Sydney comeback you can. Oh, oh that comeback. What are you currently wearing? I'm wearing uh, shorts and uh, a jersey. And where was it snowing last week? Ah, uh, my back door. Yeah, there you go. Quick roll call, Jesse. Who's running uh, tubeless wheels today? I am. Anyone else? Oh, I'm running tubeless wheels. Anyone not running tubeless wheels? What oh bars have you got there, man? Uh, I've got these black ink integrated ones. Okay. Cool. So here's the question. I want to do something about this in the next couple of weeks. But So you're running a mechanical group set with integrated bars. Yep. Can it be done? It can be done. Is it, is it the best way to do it? No. I no. Mean, these one pieces are set up so that you have hydraulic disc brakes yeah. because there's no pulling of the cable and you've got a, preferably a wireless group set. Yeah. But it can be done with cable. Little secret, we were going to run integrated bars, but we decided not to because we thought integrated bars, mechanical group set, recipe for disaster. So I have no point to make here. Now most manufacturers have gone away from fully one piece there's no reason not to anymore. That's like, true, yeah. Integrated aero is now two systems. Yeah, whereas, you know, if you've got a TT bike, like that, or like that, different story. So your cabling's still externally routed, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Nutrition, we've got to cover all the bases. We're going to cover Zwift, <laughs> we're going to cover nutrition. What's another YouTube classic? Tubeless? Cover tubeless. Disc. Disc. Rims or disc? Rims or disc. So I, I started using Zwift in 2018 and that was working full time and training and I was just doing my intervals on the train. Right. Essentially, I could have just gone away with just using my gum yeah. and just running that to the kicker. But I, up, up until mid-2019, I didn't race. There Any, you go. Anyone, How do you attack on Zwift? Good question. All right. So you attack on Zwift. You don't hop on the front and then go. What do you do with 700 watts for a minute? Yeah. And then, like, um, I don't know. People just seem to disappear. It's really cool. Well, yeah, what you do is... Because you, cause you don't have to, because the drafting mechanism is you just have to be behind the rider. Mm -hmm. You get the same draft sitting second wheel as you do 
last wheel in the bunch. So what you can do is you can accelerate oh. through the bunch. So you attack from the back of the group, ride all the way through people, getting that draft, and then boom, you're off the front with an extra five k's an hour, and you're away you go. So how? So you can position yourself. You yeah, actually you just, can. You just okay. back off. So yeah. not back pedal, so you but go from eight watts of kilo to seven watts of kilo, yeah. and drop back. Yeah. And then you because like unlike in a real race where you'd have to, you don't want to attack from the back of the bunch. Mm. You don't want to attack forty meters behind the first guy. Because you're in the wind. You're blown up when you <laughs> before you get to the front. <laughs> um, and also because in real life you can look around and go, right, that person is coming. Whereas in the bunch, it's very hard to see the jostling. You've got to look at the numbers and you've only got like 15 numbers to look at. So if you're outside that 15 numbers, you can shoot. But, I, but Zwift suits your riding style. Good bots per kilo and good punch, like a long sprint. Yes. There's no point in me doing Zwift because I'll just I can't get any results. It's completely but because of the yeah because of the weight thing. It's yeah. Yeah, the weight thing and the, that you can't. There's no point attacking in a Zwift race. You can't go solo. So no. once there's no no absolutely not. And I can't sprint that well. So. Has it made you a better sprinter or a worse sprinter? Well, sprinting on it, it's garbage. Like my in real life. Sprint is probably 1,300 watts, mm. maybe 1,400 on a good day. Cracking four digits is a good day on Zwift. Okay. <laughs> I think we've got the title though for the vlog. Zwift tips from a pro. <laughs> I hate it. Well, Zwift Worlds is um, Whoa, is it's, happening. This is weekend, isn't it? No, December. Ah. Zwift Worlds in favorite? December. Who goes? How do you get what? Uh, they get, they, they've said that they're going to divvy out places to each of the federations. And you have to be on water as well. So yeah, you've got to be on the water testing pool. Um, I don't know if pros go, because the actual real world doesn't look like it's going to happen mm -hmm. in Switzerland. Where, do you do it virtually or do you have to go somewhere? To I don't know. That, that's not like worked out yet. I'd assume due to COVID, you'd have to do it virtually. Yeah. But then you've got the issue of bunk yeah, trainers much. and all that sort of stuff so but yeah okay so yeah i count i don't count my calories on the bike so when i'm giving out numbers like two thousand two and a half thousand that's just food during the day mm. that's smarter yeah that way you're fueling the ride well it's smarter if you're fueling the ride properly yes would you but you would fuel each ride differently no. i assume no? no always the same everything the same yeah okay yes that's interesting. Interesting. Oh, except for recovery. You don't you know, feel recovery. Rico rides. Yeah, that's what I, that's, I rate that highly. I rate more Fueling everything. everything. Yeah, same. Yeah. Oh, it's endurance. I don't really need to eat much. Oh, but okay. Okay, here's the stitch up for you. So this might just be, once again, I might be saying arrogant here, but I, I worked out, I'm doing a thousand calories an hour if I'm doing endurance. Yeah. So if I'm working any harder than insurance, I'm burning even more. Right. So I have to fuel. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you cook yourself. And and you can't you can I cannot I, I will always be in a hole at the end of my ride. Yeah. Because you can't eat enough to fuel it. Like you could literally just be eating cakes and still not get it all in. Yeah, that's like anytime we put this chat on there and someone says, Yeah, I fuel, I fuel my rides too, I make sure I carry a couple of bananas with me. Okay, this is yeah, the first 20 minutes, so what else are you? Well, using? a banana, I think, don't quote me on this, I think banana is literally only like 30 yeah. grams of calories. Yeah. It's like 80 calories. It's, like, it's nothing. That's the point of this stuff. Like, mm. I, I'm doing 80 calories in my first mm. seven minutes. Mm. I can't believe that's literally the first ride I've done with Jay since Santo. Like, that's nuts. But here's what I want to do. Oh, these, ladies and gentlemen, are the Bora W2E T035s, which, well, they haven't been used. Right, your mission, J1. Should I use to these it? wheels? Do a Strava KOM. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's a very expensive uh, KOM. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro. It's actually the most expensive KOM. Yes. So, WTO35s. Yep. 
Tubeless. Yeah. Tubeless. They're set up. They're ready. Right. Bye bye vines. So yeah, just a really, really short stay for the guys. Hopefully, we'll see a bit more of them throughout the rest of the year with restrictions kind of easing up between travel around the regions. We can get Jay up for a bit of club racing and who knows, maybe even a state race or two. So I tell you, guys, just off the phone to Luke there, there is still, I stand in the sun, uh, a bit like that. That'll be fun to color grade, won't it? No, guys, just off the phone to Luke there. And look, there's still a heap of positivity around about trying to make this season work. It's flexible, it's fluid, but nothing's off the table. And, and it could seriously work like this. It could be a call tomorrow that is, okay, guys, we're racing in South Australia next week for two weeks. Like, it could be like that. So, massive hats off to CA and the five or six NRS team managers who are like every second day in communication with each other with ideas about how to make this season work. So I actually think that one of the massive positives that's going to come from this is how that group is working together to make the domestic calendar better. This didn't used to happen. Race organisers, talking to the governing body, talking to the team managers, all about how to make the best race series. It's something that didn't happen, it's happening now. Look. Hopefully this season isn't a write-off, but even if it is, I think this is going to be one of the big advantages to come out of the whole year. Anyway, so positive note. Nice to finish on a positive, hey? All right, so um, we'll see you soon. Racing around Sydney. Did that overexpose? Didn't overexpose. Did that overexpose? Didn't overexpose. We'll do a camera vlog at some point. Talk to you about what I do. All right, peace out. Talk to you soon.